So I wanted to do a video talking about um, chain sizes for your chainsaw because um, if you don't know this, you could make a mistake that could really wreck your chainsaw. Um, and so I, what, I, what I thought I'd do is talk about chain sizes and why not every bar can go on any other chainsaw. Like we have the 460 and the 450 here, very similar chainsaws. Um, you can put a, the same size bar, like the 20 inch or the 18 inch bar from this 450 on a 460, but you can't use the same bar. And I'm gonna to explain to you why as I explain the different sizes of these chainsaws. Um, or chains. Chain sizes are typically, you want to know how many links are in your chain. Um, and the reason why the links matter is because depending on what you're running, if it's a still or a Husqvarna or an Eco or, you know, Home Light, whatever brand chainsaw you're running, the bars may be a different thickness. So let's just take a couple bars here and look at them. This is the 460 bar. This is the 450 bar. So the bars, you can tell, they, they, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Um, if I put them up next to our um, 18 inch on the, on the Craftsman, the 18 inch is actually a thicker bar than these two bars. So the, the an eight, what would fit in the 18 inch Husqvarna isn't gonna fit the 18 inch Craftsman and so on. So the, the, the chain links, are probably the most important thing when you're trying to find a chain for your chainsaw. You need to know how many links go on your, your bar for your saw. The next big thing about uh, chainsaw chains are whether they're a 3 8 or a, um, a, point, a 325, which is decimal 325. And what that is talking about are kind of these these drive um, little drive hooks. I don't know what the proper technical term is for it, but these are different sizes. So this is a 325. This is what uh, goes on the, the uh, Rancher 450. And then this chain has the, the 3 8 So it's a much bigger, um, turn these around so they're going the same way. It's It's made for a much larger Rocket. Now you can get, um, you know, you can get an 18 inch bar that's 3 8 and you can get uh, a, an 18 inch, 18 inch or 20 inch bar that's uh, a 325, but that is going to be kind of the, the, the next main thing. And the reason being is these little drive sprockets, they, or I guess the drive sprocket is actually on this. These are just the, the drive links. But the drive sprockets on these two uh, chainsaws is different. This one has the 325, and this one has the 3 8 The 3 8 is a little bit more of a heavier duty drive sprocket. There's a 325 is something you're gonna find on a lot of consumer chainsaws that are less than 50 cc. Um, you don't really start seeing a whole lot of 3 8 until you get into 50 cc and up. This is a 50 CC, I could put a 3 8 drive sprocket on this and then put on some 3 8 chains if I wanted to, or I could keep it at a 325 and only use 325 chains on there. But you'd have to change out the drive sprocket, which is down in here. So that is uh, the next big thing. So you've got the links. You gotta know how many links you've got in here. Um, for a Husqvarna, this is a 72 inch, uh, or a 24 inch, it's got 72 links. Um, I haven't counted the lengths on the, I don't know if this is an 18 or a 20 inch for the 450, but um, when I go and buy a chain, instead of worrying about my chain, my bar length, I'm more worried about my link length. I'm worried about whether it's a 3 8 or a 325 drive. And then the next thing you need to know, and this is a bar uh, situation, is, and, and on that note, I'm, I'm gonna go back to that real quick because I've read on a lot of forums, a lot of people taking a 325 and throwing it on a 3 8 and it works just fine. You are ruining your chainsaw. You're ruining that drive sprocket. Don't do that. If you've got a 325, use a 325. If you've got a 3 8 use a 3 8 It's that simple. And you can get the chain that you need probably as a 3 8 or a 325. Okay, so the next thing that you need to look at is 
the 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 thickness of the chain. These are 1.3 millimeters or uh, 0.050 inches. So if you see a measurement that's um, a 0 0.050, um, that's probably for these thicker chains. And, and they do make chains even thicker than this, I believe. Um, so that all of these measurements matter. And the reason why you wanna make sure you get the right thickness of the chain is the thickness is really gonna depend on the bar. So this bar is designed for um, a specific chain. If you get something too small, it's gonna to be too loose in the bar and rattle around. If you get something too big, it's not gonna slide through the bar very easily. And then these, the, the sprockets at the end of the bar here, these, this piece right here, um, that's also gonna depend on whether it's a 325 or a 38. This should match the drive sprocket of the chainsaw. So not all bars are created equal. Not all chains are created equal. So if you're going to buy a replacement bar, you wanna make sure that you're getting a bar that matches the sprocket size, whether it's 3H or 325 of your chainsaw. And you wanna make sure that um, you're buying a chain that fits you know, your chainsaw drive sprocket and your, and your bar. Those are kind of the, the big things when it comes to finding the right size chain for your chainsaw. Once you know those measurements, you can go online and search for chains uh, based on those measurements and find specialty chains if you need a specialty chain for a particular project you're working on. Um, you'll know, okay, I need a 72 link chain. I need something that's uh, 1.3 millimeters in thickness and I need something with a 3 8 uh, drive on it. And that'll get you, you know, your chain options for the Husqvarna 460. If I wanted to use the 460 with smaller bars, um, I could come in and, and change out the drive sprocket underneath here, put in a 325 and run that. Um, but the power of this chainsaw is designed more for the 3 8 which uh, is just a little bit of a bigger uh, chain. And I think it, you know, it's a better use of the power of the chainsaw. Um, but that's really kind of the difference. If you look at some of these smaller chainsaws, and I could tell you just this one here is a 325. Uh, you can see the 325s really, I've noticed they almost all have this little hole in them there, but it's obviously a smaller drive length. This one's real tight, but from what I could tell, this looks like a 325 as well. Now, oh, actually it says it on the bar. And a lot of times the bars will say, you know, whether it's a 325 or a 3 8 because again, it, it depends on uh, what you have going on at the end of the bar as well. Um, but I think most of your consumer chainsaws are gonna be the 325. The 3 8 are really getting into the larger chainsaws. And then um, I think, somebody might correct me if I'm wrong, but when you get up into the big professional chainsaws, I actually think that you can get a little bigger than, um, than three eighths. And most of your uh, chain measurements are gonna be found on the box. So I just talked about the 1.3 millimeter. I talked about the three eighths. Um, 84 is just the style of the, of the, the chain. It's, um, it's not really, that's not, that number there isn't as important as those numbers. And then your, your length, this is a 60 uh, centimeter, but the 72 LPX, 72 is the number of links that are in this chain. So that is important to me, almost more than this number, because I know that, um, for example, this 18 inch chain or bar is gonna have a larger chain on it than a Husqvarna 18 inch. That being an older chainsaw, it's just got a, a fatter bar than this one. So it's got, it's got more uh, space. This is a 20 inch bar, look how much thinner it is. So you've got to have a few extra lengths. If this were an 18 inch Husqvarna, it would be a smaller chain. So you need to know how many lengths you have to have for your chainsaw. And the best way to tell that is by counting the lengths on the chain that you took off your chainsaw. So hopefully I've helped you out with understanding a little bit more about sizing the chains for your chainsaw. 
Um, if you didn't know this stuff and you were just buying a chainsaw and, and running it and then going back to the store and replacing your chains based on the exact brand or however you've been doing it, that's fine, but it's good to know if you're gonna use this equipment regularly or if you're gonna get into specialty chains, how to size a chain for your chainsaw and kind of open that door for uh, being able to get more aggressive chains or ripping chains or uh, just being able to know if you're buying the right chain for the activity that you're doing. I think it's good to at least have an idea of how to size a chain without having to go and look on the back of a box to see if it fits your model. Um, and, and this chainsaw here, this old Craftsman is probably a prime example of that because I'm not gonna be able to find a, uh, the newer Craftsman aren't gonna come with the, the same type of chain. And if I have to replace this chain, um, I'm gonna need to know how many links were in this chain, uh, how many centimeters in diameter it was. I'm gonna need to know, you know whether it's a 325 or a 38. So I'm gonna need to know all that to find a chain that I feel would fit this chainsaw. Because the newer, if I just compare it to an 18 inch newer model, it's not gonna, it's, there's gonna be some differences uh, between the 1970s and, and now.